You mentioned that people are trading auger already. They're not trading auger. Okay, there is this one exchange in Hong Kong. Yeah. Called Gate Gatecoin. Okay. Yeah. So it's a it's a it's a, it's a notable uh, exchange, right? It's a pretty big exchange. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's been around, around, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's been around. Um, but uh, okay, so auger hasn't launched yet. There's no auger yet. No. Okay? No. Uh, but what they've done was um, they've gotten a bunch of people that they trust, okay? Yeah. Um, to hand over their private keys. Okay. To the exchange, okay? Yeah. Um, and of course they have to trust them that they didn't they didn't make copies of their private keys or you know all it, it, it's just it's a group of people where it's not really going to be an open market because. There's not, uh, you know, it's not really where Augur is freely traded, right? Yeah. Um, but it's a bunch of people who handed over the private keys to the exchange, and then the exchange is issuing tokens with those private keys, right? Yeah. And then they're they're making like they're making a market in Augur, right? Yeah. Because you can deposit the coins and then you can start placing bids and asks, and they're letting they're trading Augur. Even though it's not it hasn't launched yet, right? yeah, and they've been so, doing it so, for so several this, months. Now. So this is a uh, it's kind of like a proxy. It's a proxy, yeah. The, it's a proxy it's, it's almost like a proxy token or a proxy coin. Yeah, it's a proxy coin. Yeah, for Augur. Okay, yeah. uh, similar to that's what someone did with Ethereum too. It's what was called Ether coin, right? Yeah, Ether coin or something like that. And then somebody set up said we bought a million ethers, and you know we have the private keys. And we're going to issue another token to represent a proxy of those. And then when Ethereum launches, you can redeem our, your token for the million Ethers that we're holding. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and they did that. I mean, actually, that wasn't a scam. They actually did that. <laughs> um, uh, so we, we kind of could see where e Ethereum was trading in the months leading up to the launch, right? Yeah. Um, so the same thing's happening to Augur, right? And I saw it trading at like ten bucks. I mean, you can go to Gatecoin and see it's it's around ten bucks. Okay? okay. So that means that uh, uh, more than likely, when they start trading Augur, um, that we can expect it to be gonna, roughly around that price point. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, you know, we we know the typical deal. It's gonna it's gonna pump and then it's gonna dump, right? Yeah. Uh, but uh, right now it's. You know, uh, uh, I think there were 11 million reputation tokens or something like that, right? Yeah. Uh, 10 or 11, I don't recall. Uh, but 10 bucks, that gives it a market value of 110 million, right? Yeah. And uh, they only raised, they bought in at a 5.3 million valuation, right? Yeah. So that's a 20 times return right there. Yeah. That's indicated, potential. That's a potential. I'm not saying that's real because the volume's really low. Like it trades maybe only... 10 or 20 bitcoins per day. Yeah. Uh, so that's not a lot of volume to to say that's a legit price, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, but it's a it's an indication that this thing's going to open at a, over 100 million dollars, right? Yeah. Um, and that's 20 times your money if you bought the pre-sale. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, let, 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 let me shoot this uh, video, and then uh, I'll get back with you. All right, I'll catch you later. All right, Bye. All right man. Mm -hmm. All right.